Hi everyone, this is Rave Mini Voices, and I'm coming here today to talk about all of your stuff. Like, why can't I let go of my things? <laughs> and what is in my things? So when I talk about things, I'm talking about all your tchotchkes, your crystals, your books, your cards, your statues, your weird trinkets you got on a vacation. We love collecting, and some of us a little too much, maybe on the slight edge of hoarding <laughs> all those things that we collect. So don't worry, this isn't a hoard buried alive episode. This is more about understanding why we collect the things and why sometimes they're so darn so hard to let go of. So the power in our things. So these things that we collect, if a different way to think about them are like vessels or like containers, they contain the energy of that moment when you got them. So it could be a Christmas present. So maybe it was a gift from somebody. So that person and their love for you goes into that item. So think about when grandma knitted you that sweater, grandma knitted all her love into that sweater. And that's why we keep it, even though it doesn't fit anymore, it still helps us to connect to grandma. So that becomes an heirloom or something that we keep maybe that because it's part of the family. Other things are like when we go on vacation and we get that silly cactus plant with a sabero and a weird mustache down in Arizona, that would be a weird tchotchke. But what it does is that holds that memory of that trip. So the laughter, the fun, the craziness, maybe the silly things that happened goes into that crazy little cactus with a mustache. So that tchotchke then holds that energy from that trip. Stones, of course, do this, different crystals that we get. Sometimes when we're going through a big process in our life, we collect different things, different maybe spiritual items like crystals or cards or a painting or, you know, something that connects us to helps us through that moment. After we're done through that process, though, we don't need those things anymore. And sometimes we don't even want to be around them. We bury them in a closet or a box or on a shelf and we let them collect dust. That's because those items collected the energy of our transformation. So all of our stinky thinking, all the ups and downs, all the big revelations that happened, it stored that. So these are the items that we need to let go of. And this can be relationships too. So maybe something that you receive from an ex-boyfriend or an ex-husband. It could be a piece of furniture. It could be a vase. It could be a ring. It could be a necklace. But again, when you hold that, when you instantly think of this ex or this person, this job, because sometimes we get certain pieces of clothing for a job, that item, be it clothing or jewelry or decoration, holds the energy of that space and time. So with all that in mind, when you start looking at your stuff, you really need to ask, is this continuing forward with me? This is pretty big, especially for this year, because this year is a, a completion year, 2019, but really any time, because all of us are different in our timing, how we go through things and we have endings and beginnings. So if you find yourself beginning anew, really look around at all your stuff in your house, put your hand on it, touch it and ask it, are you continuing with my journey? Is it time for me to let you go? And that letting go can be beautiful. That can be you passing that item on, especially if it's like a crystal or maybe a really powerful book that you read. Ooh. Red Wing Blackbirds chiming in there. Maybe that really assisted you to go deep and transform. But now that you're done, you can pass it on to someone else that's transforming. You can give that over to them so that they then can have the help to transform. And that could be personally giving an item to somebody. It could be donating it to Goodwill, a local church, or a um, of different clothing, uh, food bank, different places, everywhere will take items and they lovingly get passed on. So, or do a giveaway. This is a big thing that I love to do is a giveaway where you gather up all those spiritual items. Cause let's face it, we all have a ton of them <laughs> is you bring it all, you put out the table and you invite everybody to bring and do a giveaway. The giveaway honors you for the process you went through and it's a thank you, but with everybody contributing, it's an 
a place where you could maybe find that new item to help you on your next step and then lovingly see your things being passed on to somebody else. So I really challenge you, touch each item, ask where it needs to go. Does it need to go to someone specific? Does it just need to be donated? And for those things that are broken, no matter how many times you fixed them, maybe it's time to just throw it away. So definitely look at your things differently. And if you look at the item and it's still connected to an ex or it's still connected to a person that you have walked away from, why are you allowing them to continue to stay in your life? Because again, that item holds that energy. So unless you can clear that item, you may need to let that item go if it still connects you to that person, place, or event that no longer serves you in your life. Yes, there's ways you can cleanse things. You can sage it. You can spray it with rose water. You can put camphor with it. You can pray. There's lots of things you can clear it, but just some items just want to go. And it's okay if it just wants to go too. You just touch it and it says, I'm done with you. That's okay. So the more you let go, the more the universe can bring new things to you because the universe hates voids. It always brings new things in. So my rule of thumb is for every one thing I bring into my house, I have to let go of three. And I challenge you to try it. Just always have a donation bag going, always get those items out. And it's amazing how much prosperity and amazing unexpected things come into my life when I constantly am taking things out. So I hope that helps you look at your things a little bit differently and understand why sometimes it's really hard to let go of things. And if you ever question, should I let this go? It can always sit and rest for a while. Let it sit there and come back to it a week, a month later and ask it again. Some things change because we are changing. So happy cleaning. I hope this helps. I did 62 car loads when I moved because a lot of what I had before did not want to come to my new house. And even with that, I'm still letting go of more stuff because I'm changing and I know you're changing too. So again, happy cleaning, happy letting go. And I welcome to whatever new things come into your life. If you have any questions or need help with that, definitely give me a buzz. Go to my website, ravenmedium.com. And I can definitely assist you in that cleaning process because I'll give you a secret. Your outside stuff also reflects your inside stuff. So if you're getting stuck, you may need some help releasing some inside stuff. And I have some tools to help you. So many blessings to all of you. And again, happy cleaning. Namaste.